Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Makoto's a Creep. Uh, Danganronpa. So last time on Danganronpa, we uh, decided that we're going to have daily breakfast meetings. Uh, and we talked to everyone, and Monokuma was like, Hey guys, I want to give you a motive. And showed us a video of our family being disappeared. And everyone else got their own videos. And then we talked to Sayaka. She came into our room and was like, Hey, can we switch rooms? And then we smelled her scent. <laughs> <laughs> and now he fell asleep. I say we, but I want to distance myself from this. Makoto smelled her scent. You. It was not me. It you. was not me. I didn't do jack shit. I think Makoto was being a creep. Anyways, feeling a little better than before. I fell asleep. Ta-da. Monokuma Theater. Yay. Look, he's got a little car now. Imagine you're in a bi all in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We've set sail and left Earth behind. Here, you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you don't have to stress out about studying for finals or practicing for the ga big game. But, but even our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you call her, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I've made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! Yay! Yay! Ding dong bing bong! Ding dong bing bong! Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning, everyone. Get ready to a beautiful day. I sat up, still half asleep, and rubbed my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. I remembered I was in Sayaka's room. I just remembered I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. I better get going. I left Sayaka's room and made my way toward the dining hall. Ta-da! Dining hall. Teleportation. Oh. A few people had already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. <laughs> Hello, Makoto, and good morning. Can you believe it? I, I was the very first one here this morning. <laughs> good morning. Hey, Makoto. Morning. <laughs> I suppose I'm early. <laughs> I figured everyone who had arrived on time could be considered model high schoolers. And the ones who showed up a little late. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry I'm late. My makeup just would not cooperate this morning. Ah, well, My apologies, no. ladies and gentlemen. My morning ad duty took a little longer than usual. Oh, what the fuck, dude? No one had to know. <laughs> no one had to know. Good old Ifumi. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> were the types with a more relaxed sense of time. Most high schoolers fall into this category. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. Indeed. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My bad. My bad, guys. Slept right through my alarm. What's your problem? What? Is it so awful to be late? Yo. I didn't oversleep, just so you know. Nope, got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. Don't care about time or other people in general. They're the kind of people to move at their own pace. But regardless, everyone had arrived, except for Byakuya and Sayaka. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, aren't we still missing some people? Uh. Yeah, Sayaka and Byakuya aren't here. I don't know about Byakuya, but I would definitely put Sayaka in the model high schooler category. Based on my two days of interaction with her. <laughs> So for her to be so late, what? what's going on? Did something happen? Yo. Hey man, have you seen Sayaka? <laughs> Why would I have? I just came straight from my room to here. Um... Did you forget about our breakfast promise? However, 
I got the sense she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small, dark speck of unease rose up inside me. And that speck started to grow quickly. I, I need to go. I have to go check on her. The words had barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. Where I headed first was my room, where I'd let Sayaka stay for a single night, where she was supposed to be safe. But over the course of that one night, the room had been completely transformed. What the hell? Oh my god. This is the replica sword I brought. I bought back for self-defense. It's been taken out of its sheath. More importantly, where's Sayaka? What's this thing? Key. There's a keychain on the ground. It has my name on it, so it must be my room key. I gave it to Sayaka when we traded rooms. How did I get in here? Wouldn't the door have been locked? I'd better check the bathroom. Oh no. Let's take a look inside. <gasps> Bam! First death. Oh my god. She's fucking dead. Took me a second to realize that I was screaming. What I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried itself in my brain. And then... And then... And gentlemen and then... Everything went black. Chapter 1, Deadly Life. Sayaka's dead. That's my... one character gone from Dylan's list. My god. Sayaka is dead. Wow. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. A ceiling I remembered seeing before. And when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Ah, ah you're awake. Finally. Are you okay? Yeah. Now's no time for sleeping. Get your ass up. Huh? Uh, um... You were unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. Well, it's no surprise considering what happened. What happened? G Gra! Um. Uh, hey, are you okay? So it wasn't a dream. What I saw, it was real. That's right, it really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body, and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka is... If Sayaka is... You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevocably dead. No, I have to see it for myself. Why? Listen to us, man. What do you think's gonna happen if you go out there? Well, what good is it gonna do just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in a gym like a time at a time like this? Our friend, Sayaka, she's she's dead. Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she really was gone. None of us want to be here right now, either. Then... why? Sh shouldn't it be obvious? Monokuma, he told us to come here. Well, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price Sayaka had to pay. B but so... I'm the one who convinced them to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. Wrong. I would never do that. If you can believe anything, you can't. You can believe that. <laughs> Here's he. He's here again. Hey. 
unless someone violates a school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you, I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen up! I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world for following the bear times one rule. The fuck is a safari park? Is it like, is it like the safari in Pokemon? A zoo? In Pokemon? I'm, I'm pretty sure he's probably referring to a zoo. But then, who did it? Who killed her? Come on. You already know the answer! The one who killed her is one of you! Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid, that's... Hmm? What's the matter? You guys all look like you're about to see a dove get shot with a Gatling gun. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you when this, is all bega when this all began? One of you decided to kill Sayaka so you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well... You're, you're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. Nope, sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... Are you serious? What? What is so this? Someone... Someone killed someone? <laughs> it is amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold on. Hey, hold on. Don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's cuz. Naive, you're just so naive. You think it's really that easy you can just kill someone and waltz on out of here? You're super naive, devilishly naive, hellishly naive! No, 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 the real thing has just begun. The real thing? Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part to the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... You are referring to the rule number six of the school regulations. If you are blackened, that... If you are the blackened that committed the murder, you can't be found out by the other students. That is what you are talking about, is it not? In other words... Bingo! It's not enough just to kill someone. You have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. So a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin. Class trial? Hmm. Yep, it'll begin a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the blackened who committed the murder. And they, are, and, they and the spotless students will engage, all engage in one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the What's with the generic is. ass people? And once right. everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue. However, if you choose poorly, he chose poorly. <laughs> Do you remember? The one who got yeah. away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Huh. Well. So, um, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Hmm. Oh well, to put it simply. What? It's execution! Yeah. Execution? What? And by execution, you mean. Execution is. Execution. 
Execution! Electric chair! <laughs> Poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! So, to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed? What a smart little chimpanzee you are! Look at you, implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system, or an inquisition type thing. Which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. But judge carefully, because all your lives are on the line. Okay, let me just add the rule I just described to, you, to your handbook. Make sure to keep it in mind. The new rule's been added to the regulations menu. Wait, hold on a second. You You're freaking insane, you know that? Huh? A class trial? What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? Are you saying you're not gonna participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. What? Punishment? Mm. I might, I don't know, throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. Say what you, whatever you want. I'm not gonna be a part of this. Don't, don't be so it. selfish. Stop it. You're the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want. It's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> the evil standing here before me. I'm trembling with fear, but I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you'll have to go through me first. As he said that, he came charging at us, although it was more of a waddle. <laughs> you meant waddle, waddle, waddle. <laughs> but then... Yeah. Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed. You violated a school regulation. I invoke the mighty summon spell. Help to me, godly spear, Gunnier. Oh. Oh my god. And there goes a second of Dylan's characters right there. Holy... Junko... This wasn't supposed to... Why... me? Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. Oh my god. There you go, Dylan. No way. There's another death. Jesus. Oh, what the? I don't. This this can't be real. Yeah. No way! Well now. Now I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know. But I guess y'all needed to be taught a lesson after all. Ow, <laughs> what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. Jesus Christ. Junko's body had been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I'd ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Nobody there could deny what they'd seen. Junko, who until just a second ago had been our friend, was dead. She'd died. She'd been murdered. In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. Okay, let's say it 55 times. Hey, um, it's really not all that shocking. She just died, that's all. Just went and died. It's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> this isn't some superhero comic, so it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. This is reality! Why? Why did you have to kill her? 
didn't you say you would put her in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew it. No, you've been wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly. You can't kill time. Or are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Come on, what do you take me for? I'm Monokuma! Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help in you in your search for the Blacken. This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I like to call it the Monokuma file. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I got to see it all go down. So then. Wait, so then you know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial now, could I? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's just, that's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, so we'll meet up for class trial in, in a little while. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. And for who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact that Sayaka and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there was more to it than that. It was also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We'd found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with, our, with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet, even in such a perversely terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Now's no time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous result as having total faith in everyone else. What? Huh? In other words... Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Wh who you decide to trust or not to trust, of course, up to you. Continuing to think about and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? Just saying stuff like that is just... <sighs> How many times have I told you, anyone who can't adapt will die? Death is the only thing that awaits those who are unable or unwilling to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, you only have yourself to blame. That's terrible! What an awful thing to say, especially after what just happened. Just a second. Right now, just exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. <laughs> She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from the situation. So we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell am I letting someone kill me. Alright, damn it, let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sentiment. They were using it like a mantra to give themselves strength. But they're right. We just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. If that's what it takes to survive, then that's what we have to do. On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I had to know why Sayaka had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd never be able to accept her death, which is why I don't have any choice. I have to do this. So what you think, Dylan? What the fuck? Two people are dead. Two people you voice. Any theories on who might have done it right now? I want to say the most suspect, in my opinion, are Biakia, Celeste, and for some reason, uh, Toko. You think of Biakia, Celeste, or Toko? Or Toko's behind Hifumi. Yeah. He's too fat. Yeah. Hey. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hmm. 
You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so no one can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Okay. Then we can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> well, no. We can't just leave him there alone. What? What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you! So then. Fine. Then I'll stay there on guard duty as well. That... That way, there's no problem. Two-player co-op based defense with two of them. <laughs> but their stats, they're totally OP. Okay, dude. Okay. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... <clears throat> I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Talk to Kyoko again. We're gonna find out who the killer is, because if we don't, we're all gonna die here. What about Mondo? Why are you not- why are you still here, bro? Huh? Is this don't really happening? Me. Screw that piece of shit bear! Same. Go back out. Huh? Before we begin the investigation, isn't there something else we need to discuss? Oh, yeah. What? What do we need to discuss? The, this- her? We, we've discussed it, she's dead. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse like they do in movies and stuff. Dude. <laughs> she's stabbed like 15 times. <laughs> Literally, yeah, she's she's does, gone. But does she have a pulse? <laughs> she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. I don't know why you even bothered to check. After those injuries and losing that much blood... Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Hold on. Hold on, just wait a second. She she's dead. That that, that means that means everything that happened so far is real. It's not a joke or whatever, is it? It's really real. Watched her you watched her get stabbed, bruh. You watched her get stabbed. <laughs> Hell no, here. someone saved me. Let me out of here. Somebody help me! You're just now accepting that? Is that it? Can I go now? Ugh, oh, okay. You have to talk to everybody. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> so you finally noticed. What the crap? Huh? Noticed what? I was looking through the Monokuma file we recovered, we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? huh? What are you talking about? Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. Ah. Huh? She's right. Eh? Then could it be? All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Hold on a second, you've got it all wrong. For just one night, I, I, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. Do you expect us to believe that? Just tell us the truth. The look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? So then. Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong, so... well, do I really have to say any more? I'd rather you didn't know. Goodbye. Everyone, pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. I'll be going too. And just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized Yo. it. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it. Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this is here right now and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, they better not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious. I will fuck them up. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. So, um... But, I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know? 
And we're gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway. We don't really have to do anything in particular. We already know who killed Sayaka. What are you implying? This is it was you. Suspicious. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. <laughs> Just don't come any closer. Are you gonna kill me next? So, um... Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure Makoto's guilty yet. That's true. We may as well look at. May as well at least check just to check. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help investigate. Aww. Wait, why not? I'm not good with b blood. All it takes is one glimpse and I b black out. Oh, yeah? Well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. All right, I guess I better be better get going. Wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left, and their parting looks at me had still been filled with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will... Execution is... Execution. Execution. Electric chair. Poison gas. <laughs> cough, cough. Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. You're going to start to notice there is a lot of repetition in this game. Oh, yeah. They do a lot of flashbacks. I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka? You ready to investigate, my friend? Yep. I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a, was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find out the truth so that we can all survive. And for Sayaka, I have to find out how she was killed. Monokuma File 1 has been added to Truth Bullets. Okay. Let's talk to these people first. Alright. That's you. Oh, that's me. Are you going to help investigate your hero? But I can't leave Junko here. I, I feel sorry for her. I, I have to stay with her. Okay. Ugh, no way. I seriously don't want to die here. I'm begging you. God, Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space King, Neptune, help me. <laughs> I don't care who it is. Just get me out of here. I will pray to everyone. Hero doesn't seem prepared to do any kind of investigating right now. <laughs> Leaving the gym. Goodbye, Junko's dead body. Rip. That was... I was not expecting two deaths in that quick of a span. First of all, I should head to the scene of the crime, my room. We won't make any progress without investigating there. Yeah, people die, Dylan. Well, people yeah, but die in just, this game. just that quick, though. Like, that was very quick for two people to just die. So I headed to my room, where Sayaka's corpse still remained. Yikes. I'd better examine the state of the room a little closer. That might reveal something new. There's scratches on the wall. There's scratches and gouges on my wall and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? No. No. What the fuck else would it be? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like there might have been some kind of fight in my room. You don't say. Damn it, I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. That would not have been possible. Huh? <clears throat> Don't you remember? All the rooms are completely soundproof. So something could happen in the room right next to you. And there's no way you could know. Perhaps this was another of Monokuma's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Evidence of a struggle has been added to truth points. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does it mean it was used to attack in the attack somehow? And plus, the sword's been taken out, so it's just the sheath, but... Huh? There's some scratches on the sheath. They must have been made with something sharp. But how'd the sheath get scratched up in the first place? 
Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're going to attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. Sheath, 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 sheath. Right. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It could only be, it could only slide off, it could only, it could just slide off in the middle of a fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? Replica sword sheath has been added to truth bullets. Sword itself. This is the replica sword I brought back for self-defense. Does it mean that there was used in the attack somehow? And plus, oh, this is the same thing. Oh wait, no, the gold coating has come off the handle. Shit, it wasn't the same thing. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of the coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. Replica sword. Yay. There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it. So this must be my room key, if I remember correctly. It's just flashback to when yep. you traded room keys. We switched rooms. We switched keys too. So Sayaka would have had the keys would have had the key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true then, how did the killer get into the room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. Same goes for you, Sayaka, no matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or opened it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something? No, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in here when we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around. So she couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer... Switching rooms has been added to truth bullets. Hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but... What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? No, not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of the room, except she was crouching, not on her knees. Just say it. Close enough. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. Weird. Let's look in the bathroom. I should oh, look around God. here first. I can check other spots later. Check in the bed, maybe? There are gouges in the bed like someone attacked it. What the hell happened here? Mondo, you got something to say? By the way. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room here in the dorms, right? He could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch. That dirty bastard! Shit. Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. So if I ever find the son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. But what if it was a girl that did it? Yo. That'll all get sorted out when the time comes. <laughs> <laughs> Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? <clears throat> I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Can I check the bathroom now? Okay. I'll check my drawer. The toolkit is inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that it's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't used it. I haven't had to, any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I'd need a toolkit like this. Yo. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. What? We ain't exactly what? in the mood for building fucking furniture, right? So you haven't used yours either, then? What? What? Not just me. Nobody's busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. None of the guys have opened their toolkits yet. Because, like, why the hell would we? Toolkit. That's been added to truth bullets. Can I check the bathroom now, please? I already talked to you. you, son of a... <clears throat> you fucking... Oh, I can hold circle and speed through text. That's nice. Okay, what else do I have to check? Good lord. The paint The lint roller? Yeah. Huh? Looking at the lint roller, it looks like there's way less than there was before. Did Sayaka see how dirty my room was and decide to clean up a little? Uh. 
Have I checked enough shit now? It's the display stand the sword was on. Okay, and then go in here. Work, work the furk. Work the furk. Oh, the camera and that, that thing. The notepad is still here, but I don't think it's still it's relevant. The table? Do I really have to look at the table? Yep. There are scratches and gouges on the walls and bed. Is this evidence of a struggle? Yes, it is. Looks like there might have been some kind of fight in my room. Yeah, my room is completely thing soundproof, again. remember? Okay. What do I still have to look at? I don't... I, I feel like I've looked at everything important. Have I not? Right. Look at the door, actually. I'll talk to her again. Hey, Kyoko. It's already oh, happened. Th yep. Hey. Oh. There's something very unusual about your room. Unusual? What do you mean? So... I've searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it? I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka? Or the killer? Well... That's the question, isn't it? Makoto's room cleanliness. Okay, can I go in here now? The bathroom, and on the other side of this door... No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her her. Sayaka. All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, and the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse, but that thought held me up and supported me. Okay, let's examine a dead body, shall we? I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her, and there I saw... Huh? Written in blood with the numbers no. 11037. What? Oh, I know who did it now. Who did it, Dylan? Leon. Did Sayaka do this? I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but but now's not the time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Some sort of sharp object had been thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. You don't fucking say. <laughs> what? She was stabbed? I had no idea. Right. With a fucking knife. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? I don't know, it's a butcher knife. Probably a kitchen. That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's right wrist is broken. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery on her wrist, too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... Huh? There's some blood on her left index finger, but that's it. The palms of her, both of her hands are totally spotless, so how come only her left finger? I was say, yeah, that's probably what she wrote on the wall. A stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that might have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible her wrist she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom where they inflicted the deadly wound. Well, we'll see y'all next time where we will continue this investigation. Although, Dylan has a... I, I know who did it. Yeah, you know who did it. I'm guessing it's Le Dylan's Leon. Dylan's pretty sure it's Leon. Yeah, because that's definitely his name upside down. And I can't tell you. Yeah, you can't tell me. I can't tell you if you're right or not.
But we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye. Okay, I gotta go to the bathroom before we start the next one. Wait.